Today I show you how to work with the Digital Sunge Press plugin. Um, first of all, so this is the uh, front end of our plugin. Um, here on the top you see the uh, navigation bars, um, the options uh, which are a new playlist, uh, where you could create a new playlist. On the button playlist itself you see the list of all the playlists. Under devices you see all the devices screens which are related um, to your uh, plugin and working with your plugin. And the last one is um, video walls. Here you could create video walls. Okay, so let's uh, first start here to create a new playlist. Um, I give it a name. So, restaurant uh, one is my playlist. Then I will create a new slide. Um, and when I create a new slide, I have two options. One option is I create a completely new one empty one or I create an existing one. So like here for instance fashion or restaurant which are predefined but I choose the empty one. So it's a complete empty one. Um, here's my slide that I created. I want to rename it. I say um, simply slide one. Save it and then this is my name. Yeah. Next point is we choose the layout whether it's portrait or landscape. Yeah, so um, if you click on the according buttons, you see here on the right side all the templates that we provide. Um, and uh, so they're switching depending on your uh, selection. Yeah, so first we choose layout um, and uh, landscape, and we start with a uh, custom editor here. So once I um, choose custom editor, so it moves over here to the left so that I always see which type of template I'm using for this slide. And uh, yeah, so now we can start to uh, create our layouts. Um, so the first one here is uh, background. So if we go here to the editor uh, area, background of the slide, uh, where you could um, define the background. So you could um, select a color yeah, or uh, find your own custom color and define a background but as well you could choose existing pictures and let them be used for um, the background uh, but as well you can delete everything um, and then define define it again yeah good uh, once we have um, define the background. We can go over to some items. We could add some items here um, on the slide. Yeah, so one is image. So we select an image that we uploaded and we place it somewhere into the screen. Yeah, as you can see, it's um, it can be moved. So this is the uh, advantage of the custom editor where you could place the um, items completely flexible and as you can see here these green lines are kind of uh, helping lines that helps you to um, place the um, item correctly. Yeah. So then the next one is uh, for instance text that we want to add uh, and here again um, it's automatically kind of uh, adjusting to the other elements and um, yeah so here in this element you could add uh, text um, so let's create the text, uh, select the text and say my text here and I yeah, define um, font and define a size and a color. Yeah. So therefore here on the right side we have the options as well text here where you could say it's um, HTML element H1, H2, H3. Um, etc. You can also say whether it should be left aligned or right aligned so as you know it from uh, your word editor. The text container has um, additional features, an additional feature like here for instance the column management uh, where you could create a second column. You could define another text and then as well define the size, color, um, etc. Yeah, so it means uh, per text container you could create different um, colors, columns, multiple columns, uh, yeah, as you as you need them. Yeah, so every area and as well the text container could be resized 
Um, so as well, you could define a background color, like here, but as well, transparency is possible. So we selected everything and then you see it has a background color, but it's transparent so that you can see the background. Yeah, what you could do as well um, here um, on the right side. So by click here on the border, then you see um, that um, you're now able to create a border. You define a border. So if you want to have a certain distance and gap between one element and another element, that's possible. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah. So this is the first uh, first two elements that we added. Then uh, um, the next one could be here, for instance, uh, web page. So I will copy a link here. So, so you enter a web page and the container is added. Here again, you see the green lines to adjust your adjust your container to the other ones. And uh, yeah, so it will embed in a certain area a web page. But here again, you could define the background color, um, depending on what you want. And uh, here again, you could use um, the border. Yeah. Yeah. So a further element would then be, for instance, a video. Yeah. Here you could um, enter um, a YouTube link, like I will do now. It's a YouTube link. But as well, you could go to the media library and could upload your own video and place it instead of a YouTube video. Yeah, so now this is my uh, video. As you can see, adjust it again with the green lines and then you could um, change the size accordingly. You can play it here, stop it, see it in a preview, etc. Yeah, so let's move it up here. Um, yeah, and then another element um, is, uh, for instance, HTML. Uh, with the HTML container, you could um, yeah, embed and add any kind of um, HTML content um, that you could enter here. But as well, what you could do is um, yeah, adding a template for Facebook or Twitter. Yeah, so let's assume I have a certain Twitter account. Just have to enter the Twitter name, generate, and then generating the code. And when I save it, it's available inside my slide. Good. Um, yeah, what else can we do? Um, next one would be, for instance, a menu card. Um, this will take a little bit more space. So we will move this over here. And as well, the video. Let's make the web page as well smaller. And as you can see here, it's overlapping too. So depending on what you want to have in the front, by clicking on it, it will be then in the front. Okay, good. So then let's choose the menu card. Here it is. The menu card is a kind of um, template to create your own um, menu cards or uh, lists where you have predefined uh, several um, rows and several columns um, and a header and a footer. Um, and you could add yeah, another columns here but as well add some lines or remove some lines, etc. Yeah. So these elements then can be um, added here. So for instance, you say drinks. I say drinks are available in different sizes. I say and 
the price. And here as well another drink. And the according price. Yeah, this could be defined um, as well with several fonts, different types of font, font sizes, and as well the color. Yeah. Good. Um, then um, the last one would be um, slideshow. So I will make some more space here. So I define the slideshow. You in slideshow, I could add several images here and could define how they should, for instance, slide in. So let's say here from the left, and I say this image should be shown three seconds, and I add the second one, which should slide in from the right. So I take the pizza, and I say as well, three seconds, add another one, be slide in from the bottom, and take salad. Okay, and save. So now it's ready. If I press play, then it's shown and sliding in according to my definitions. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so once uh, we did this, uh, we could save everything. We then could again go into any kind of um, container. And as you can see here, now these buttons become available. Um, you could then, for instance, like here, change the color of this element again with an alpha value that's possible here and um, you could as well add text here um, or move a text element to um, yeah image element etc yeah so several options are possible you could as well delete the um, the element or you could copy an element and duplicate. Yeah. So for instance here we have our special element with text and a picture. So I copy this element. It's available here. can move it over. But then, oh, it was a mistake. I will delete everything and then um, it's gone. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, yeah, then I will create a second slide. Again, an empty slide. Which I call simply slide two. Here again, I choose a template, but here a fixed template. And um, now, here below the preview of the template on the left side, now slide duration appears. Means after I have um, two slides available, I could define the slide duration and then according to the slide duration the slide will appear for these number of seconds. Yeah, here again with the fixed templates um, I can define a background yeah, any background color that I want like a blue one or a background image and um, yeah, the difference between the fixed templates and the custom templates is here definitely that you can't move these items somewhere else as in one of these areas. Yeah, so we have uh, three areas here, two on the left, one at the right. And um, yeah, you could now add um, some images here, for instance. Again, choose the background color. as well kind of alpha value and um, yeah you could define text here as well like we did before different types of fonts different size 
and as well the color yeah and which is helpful here as well the border so you could define a border and could say okay where should it be close um, close to left or close to right or we keep some gap between our area and the other areas and again here as it is the text element you could as well define the second column okay good um, yeah then below we take here the second container we want to add the web page here again so we we'll take the web page add it in and then again define the background and um, yeah here on the right side uh, we could again for instance add the menu card feature but delete it as well or we could add the HTML code and could as well at the Twitter code yes, that the full Twitter timeline is available here yeah and as you can see here um, the rest of the options are available too so a video can be added whether it's YouTube or offline a slideshow can be added like you saw before yeah so then let's save everything and um, yeah, let's start with the preview. Okay, so then further information here for the uh, templates. So um, here we have different templates with different types of um, dividing the screen. But as you can see here, there are some special ones uh, where you have uh, several lines. So if you pick them, then you automatically um, choose the menu card inside a certain area. Yeah, so this is the um, difference, so then you don't have to care about the menu card inside that, so it's automatically added. So then the next part I want to show is the playlists. In the playlist you can find all the playlists we created um, in our plugin. So the name, uh, the number of slides which are available, uh, whether the playlist um, is showing or not and which format is landscape and um, yeah last change of it etc so the thing is now if I click here on the arrow then I get a list of all the slides which are in sight yeah the slides names and whether the uh, slides are uh, visible or not yeah uh, because the validation um, is um, another feature so therefore let's go back to the editor because if we scroll down here there we see the scheduling scheduling for instance for slide one where we have two different options one is show 24-7 uh, every day so mean means it will be shown all the time or we define a scheduling um, here we could uh, now use the drag and drop function to move um, yeah, a slide over into the uh, timeline here so which is um, yeah a week so you have the weekdays here on the left and um, the uh, hours here on, on the top and now you could place your slide um, according to your needs so let's here say for instance from 8 a.m. till 8 um, p.m. Um, slide 1 and you can move this slide again here let's say to Wednesday and it should start um, here from 8 or let's say 9 and should end at 9 p.m. Yeah. and then we could add as well the second slide so slide number two we activate scheduling as well and then we place it over here as well yeah slide two yeah 
Uh, you could do as well um, overlappings. So like here from 5 p.m. till 12. And then in this overlapping period from 9 till 12, both slides uh, will be shown, slide 1 and slide 2. Yeah. After you edit um, all these informations, you could as well click here on more options and you could limit the um, show time. Yeah, which means uh, you could say that, for instance, um, the slide number two, which we selected here, should only be available from the 1st of December till the end of December. Yeah, that's one option. Click activate or what you could say, it's only available, let's say, from the first of a month till, for instance, the tenth of every month. Yeah, and if I activate this, then it's active too. Yeah, and then we save. And here are the values, and if we go back to playlist, then we see, oh yeah, Slide one is not showing now, um, but slide two is. Yeah, so which means under playlist you see a good overview about all your playlists that you have, and as well which slide um, should be shown now, and is not shown. The next section that I want to show you is um, devices. Under devices you could uh, see all your uh, devices that you already created. So like here my monitor and you see an overview with um, yeah the playlist which is allocated to it, um, the last change date, the last request. And um, yeah if you go here to edit then you see um, the details of the device. So uh, the name, my monitor, the playlist um, where you could as well select another playlist and the location, um, the address uh, zip code, etc. Here again, last change date, last request, and the current browser which is allocated to this device. Um, yeah, and then you can change, uh, save everything. You can change it and save it. Um, and as well, if you want that another device is allocated to this monitor, then you uh, quickly have to press allow other device uh, to use this URL then um, the browser information will be cleared and the device allocation so that your new screen can now be used uh, uh, with this device, my monitor in this case. Yeah, and here below you see the uh, URL for this monitor and um, yeah, the only thing you have to do is copy this URL and enter it into your uh, screen, into your uh, box, uh, digital signage player, whatever, and then uh, it's, uh, it's working. Yeah. Below here is another URL uh, for Smile support. So if you copy this URL and add it to your uh, Smile player, then um, as well you have um, support for Smile and can run it on a Smile player. Okay, so uh, yeah, then back to devices. I want to create a new device for my uh, playlist. So I say my screen and then I allocate restaurant one. Yeah, location. Um, city let's take London and save and now you see we have two devices so it's my screen uh, last change date um, it was as I created it and last request time was never so no device was allocated to this device at all and I go to edit and I here see my my details that I created and here below is the uh, URL. Yeah, so this URL was created now. I could use this uh, URL, enter it into my, my uh, screen, into my sign screen, and um, then it's working and you see that the last request time is changed. Okay, good. Uh, next section I want to show you is uh, video walls. Here under video walls you could um, yeah, see your create video walls or create a new one, like here it's empty, so we create a new one. First you have to um, decide which uh, layout you want to have, so whether it's portrait or a landscape, so we select landscape here. Then define the resolution of every screen, which is typically full 
HD and as well the uh, bezel compensation. So this depends on um, the uh, bezel size itself. And as you can see here in the preview, it's already um, adjusting. So um, that uh, the gap between the screens is uh, bigger. And uh, yeah, so you can define the number of columns, uh, number of rows, and define a name. Video wall, define the restaurant, playlist, and so yeah, define several uh, location details, press save, and then my video wall is created. Yeah, so last request again, never because it was never used. Um, the video wall um, is uh, split into nine screens, and if we go to edit, then we see our details, and here below you see the according URLs. Yeah, so my video wall one slash one is, for instance, the one here in the top left corner, and you have to enter this URL for the screen in the top left corner. In the bottom right corner, the screen is three slash three, and it's here the last URL, and this is the URL that you have to enter for the screen. Yeah, and according to this definition, every screen gets a different URL, and it will be synchronized then and will be played. If we go back now to um, devices, then you see we have more devices now. So we have the original My Monitor, the My Screen that we created, and as well the video wall devices. So it means every video wall um, is appearing here on the screen and on the overview. And um, means you could see which devices are online and offline and even when the video wall consists of, of um, yeah, nine screens, and you could see exactly which monitor is offline, online, didn't uh, uh, request it uh, correctly at the, um, uh, at the server. And to do this, you could uh, yeah, apply a filter. So let's say here offline devices or online devices. Yeah, so no device online at the moment, all are offline. Um, so that you always get a good overview about which screens are uh, not available. So here on the filter everything, you could enter any word, for instance, the city London, and then you see all the screens which are located in London. So it can be city, location, address, whatever you like. The next section is um, the dashboard. So if we go down here to uh, the dashboard, we see our digital signage um, dashboard. And there you see um, uh, a rough overview about what you created and which screens are online and offline, like here the first line, online devices, no device online, updated devices. So one device was updated, the other 10 didn't get the latest content updates. So the last edit at all. Uh, number of playlists that you have inside, number of slides, um, number of devices, and uh, number of device walls, video walls. Yeah. So, but this is good overview. If you log in, uh, that you see, okay, uh, which devices are online, offline, and if you click on it here directly, then you see all the devices uh, immediately in overview which are offline, as you see uh, here.